Hey, what's up guys? It's in my car vlogging time. And uh, I just thought I would uh, share a quick thought with you. Uh, I saw an article come out today by Michael Snyder. I'm not sure which blog it was that he uh, that he posted it on. I want to say maybe the end of the American Dream.com. Uh, just talking about Christian per persecution and how it's ramping up all around the world. And he lists several examples, several different countries, in the Middle East, Africa, other places, and even to Canada and U.S. Uh, where there's starting to be a lot of violence towards Christians and hatred towards Christianity and laws uh, created that persecute and take freedoms away from Christianity. And the reality is, is that it's here, you know, and uh, we shouldn't be surprised. You know, <laughs> we, we are told in the Word of God that we're going to have tribulation. We're told that uh, we're going to be hated um, for the name of Jesus. And... Uh, it's, it's rampant and it's running crazy throughout the entire world and it's making its way west. Uh, and eventually it will completely manifest here as well. Uh, you know, one of the troubling things about Mystery Babylon, um, if you hold the perspective that uh, a big part of that description is the United States of America, is that Babylon's supposed to be drunk on the blood of the saints. Um, at the very least, we see a, a world that's drunk on the blood of the saints uh, that's happening right now, some of the worst Christian persecution to ever exist. And what's sad is it's not being reported in a nation that was founded on principles of Christianity, a nation where people of all religions have fled to historically to escape persecution and to have religious freedom. And uh, our media is completely silent. Uh, because just like the rest of the world, there's a there's a disdain for those people who follow Christ. And you'll see people potentially even come into the comments and complain that I'm saying this and try to act like it's not true because they'll foam at the people foam at the mouth towards those who follow Jesus and then those who point out the facts that Jesus' followers are being persecuted, uh, just like the book says. And Christianity, you know, I was talking to my guest last night about this on the podcast. If you haven't checked it out, I, I recommend that you do. Um, you know, and he was making the point that, you know, Christianity has been persecuted throughout history. Um, so this is, this is nothing new. Um, the end times are upon us. You know, one thing that I've been thinking and pondering on is a lot of people are like, well, you know, the end times are going to start soon. The seals are eventually going to start being opened. And, you know, you're going to see famines and you're going to see war and you're going to see blood and you're going to see uh, economic problems. You're going to see this and you're going to see that. And I'm like, well, what are we waiting for? Because I already see those things right now. They already exist. Some of it you don't feel right this moment if you live here in the United States, but that's because you live in Babylon. But a Babylon's going get to get theirs as well if you read the book of Revelation. Destruction in one hour is coming to Babylon. And, you know, so I already see famine and suffering. I already see the martyr of the saints. It's already happening. Christians are getting their heads chopped off. Their kids dashed to pieces. These things are already taking place. Uh, so, I guess one thing that I've been trying to say is, hey, stop waiting for these events to, to take place. They're happening. They may not all be in your backyard right now, but they are all happening in different places in the world. Famine is happening. Uh, the, 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 the economic meltdowns are happening. The natural disasters are happening. Persecution of the church is happening. All these things are happening now, and they're just like the birth pains, like Jesus said, they're, they're just they're increasing, and they're getting worse, and they're getting worse, and they're about to give birth to the full-blown tribulation. And so I say that not to bring fear, but to say, if you've been watching this channel and you've been hanging out for a while, but you're still, you know, you still haven't, you know, decided to yoke yourself to pinch your tent with Elohim. Jesus, I recommend you do so now.
and do so quickly because the time is here. The time is here. You know, I don't know when the rapture is going to be. I can make a great argument that there is a rapture, but I can't really tell you when. And I know there's a lot of people who th who know, who say they know, they know all. But I don't think we really do, and I don't think things are going to happen the way we necessarily expect. I think um, it's only in hindsight that we realize uh, what God meant in some of these prophecies. So, anyway, that's the message for today. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get to a point where I'm doing some form of a message just about every single day, whether it be in the car. Uh, I've got some other formats, some other ideas, some uh, reading Bible scripture type stuff that I think you're going to enjoy that I, hopefully I can launch out this week sometime. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to record an Enoch scripture reading tonight because uh, we're a little behind on that. And uh, so hopefully that'll be out tomorrow morning. But run to the Lord. Run to Jesus because you're going to need him in this hour of trial that's coming upon this whole world. Uh, you're going to need, you know, you're going to need the Lord if you're going to, to get through this, if you're going to have the right mind to deal with the things that are coming upon the earth. And we may get raptured tomorrow. It may be a year from now. It may be after the sixth seal. I, I honestly, I don't know. What I do know is we are living in the last days. You know, you can, you can discern that by just looking around and reading the news and seeing what's going on uh, in the world. So, Anyway, that's the message for today. Not much, just a casual conversation. And uh, let's make sure we're praying and fasting on behalf of those brothers and sisters of ours who are suffering so greatly around the world. Peace and grace be with you. God bless.